<laughs> okay. At the camera. I know, it's a bit odd. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? This is really cool. I wanted to travel the world and I wanted to save the world and I wanted to live my life. My sister's best friend was Kevin. And so one time I asked my sister to literally hook a brother up and um, my sister said no. We met um, at university. Got drunk. <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> there was like something in the air that night, whatever. But when I left, he, he turned me around and kissed me. And I spotted Eleanor and I thought, oh, yum. All my buddies in my unit were like, if you don't marry her, I will. And he proposed via email. It said, will you marry me? No fooling. <laughs> I, I literally laughed all the way down the aisle, all the way through our vows. Not because I didn't see them as important, but because um, I was so nervous. <laughs> Within the first few dates, we were already talking baby names and saying yeah. the what ifs of marriage, things like that. It was pretty quick. You just. I never pictured myself without kids. We tried, I think, like any normal couple would. And at first, when we weren't successful, I thought, oh, it's just, it's my travel. I should probably take this a bit more seriously. After three years, the, the, the tension, the frustration, and everything else that goes with it was so high. And that strength of wanting kids was, yeah, it was, str yeah, it was hard. It had begun to completely take over my life. And, um, I... it, it's like a sort of snowball effect. The more you want it and the more stress you're under, the more it doesn't seem to happen. I didn't deserve it. I felt very alone. Am I pregnant? Am I not pregnant? The hope and the dashing of the hope. I had all this emotional stuff that I had to deal with. It makes you really hate other pregnant women. Everyone was getting pregnant around us. Every celebrity, every neighbour. Of course they will get pregnant within a month and, oh, we weren't even trying. And you just look at them and you, you just think, how did they get pregnant so easily? And it just so happened that within a month or two, I was pregnant. We went for my 12-week scan and, um, So basically, the, the, the baby had died. I was 18 weeks. And, um, and I thought I would, I thought I'd break in half. We sat on the front stoop of the building crying. There was no sign that there was anything wrong, and it literally happened out of the blue. I think we just naively yeah. thought, well, it definitely won't happen to us. He no longer wanted to ca carry on, and he ended the relationship. And then it was like the rug was taken from under my feet. I just woke up one day and I thought, you know, if this is what I really want, if this is truly what's in my heart, I need to go for it. So I was quite like, come on, let's get experts in and stuff. After the first round of IVF, when it didn't work, it was like, OK, you have to change your lifestyle. I ate the right food, depending on the week that I was in in my cycle. You're going to stop eating you know, chips and crisps. I drank this really weird, funky tea. Cut down on alcohol. I didn't cut down completely. It just put me on lots and lots of estrogen. It was our third round of IVF, our third and last. And this time we went on to injections. We went away to Barbados and had fun in the preparation for starting the IVF. I took a pregnancy test and I screamed the house down and my mum came running up thinking I'd seen a spider. I didn't want to do a test because I'd taken so many tests that were negative. And then I could see the doctor looking at the nurse and then the nurse was looking at the doctor and I just turned around and she said, it's positive, you're pregnant. <laughs> and I stepped out of that doctor's office and I had, you know, I had the start of a child inside me and the sun was shining and I just felt like the weight of the world had been taken off my shoulders. I took tests and it was positive. <laughs> it was... It was just the best day. Just because I can't have children doesn't mean I'm 
no, <laughs> I got through all this. It, it, it doesn't mean I'm, I'm any less. It's the truth and you've just got to believe it <laughs> and get that back. And once you get that back, uh, you've got an amazing life ahead of you. This is Fergus. <laughs> <laughs> um, totally perfect in every way. Yeah. This is Rex, Rex Angus. This That's is Isaac, Isaac Cameron. Cameron. This is Charlotte Hannah Moss. Born on 31st of December, 2013, at 9.47 in the morning. Charlotte is such a joy for us, and she was enough. She really was enough. I would have been happy for the rest of my life then to have another one and have it work again. And a, and a boy, which, what more could you ask for, really? I just feel totally content. I wouldn't care if my career just went down the tubes. I don't really mind where we live. We just, we just hang out and have fun. <laughs>